Hi, I'm Willie Hal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If this is your first time here, please consider clicking subscribe and hit that little bell notification icon so you can be alerted when I upload a new tips, tricks, or tutorial video. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you very much. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And this is a new series that I'm starting called Unify Pro Tips. So if you like this pro tip, let me do, know down in the comments section, trying this new, and um, what, what pro tips are all about are things that we've picked up along the way that we've done. Maybe we haven't liked them, maybe we did like them, but maybe uh, somebody was expecting a job to get done, and by using this, this thing that we don't normally talk about or that we shy away from, we were able to complete uh, a job or get somewhere further down the road. So tonight's first pro tip is do not be afraid of the pass-through port or of wireless uplink. Now, a note, wireless uplink should be used sparingly. Now, some of the UAP AC mesh products are built to be connected wirelessly, but something like a UAP AC Pro, not so much. But let's talk about that. So what I have here is I have a Unify UAP AC Pro. And if you look on the inside of this, you can see that it's got two ports. It's got a main port over here and a secondary port over here. Now, the main port on this is gonna be what receives the PoE. And the secondary port by default is now gonna act as a pass-through and it's going to pass through all VLANs in there that are coming into the main port. So let's say that we've got a, a network that has 10 VLANs and your port is set up to allow all coming into main. That means that all of those will then be passed through the secondary port. You can do uh, a couple of things with this. One of the most popular things that I've seen is having a security camera hanging off of this. So you've got um, your main coming in and then there's a camera. Now do note that on the UAP AC models you do not pass through power. You're passing through data only. I've also seen phones plugged in, I've seen printers plugged in, but more often than not in that configuration I see cameras. It doesn't mean it's right, wrong, or indifferent. It means that this person is getting the job done. And I will tell you for a long time here in the lab, I had a camera plugged into the back of my UAC Pro. So don't be afraid of it. There are several models that have the pass-through port. So you've got the um, APAC Pro. You have the HD and SHD. They both have the pass-through ports. Now, the UAP XG and the Wi-Fi Base Station XG, they have a 1 gig port and a 10 gig port. And I don't have either one of those to test, but I'm assuming that you can do pass-through on those, just knowing the rest of the product line. Now, the UAP AC Mesh and the Mesh Pro, so the Mesh Pro also has the secondary port, but the standard Mesh does not. It just has a single port. But just like with any of these other... APs, if we can connect them wirelessly, either doing a wireless um, uplink temporarily or doing a mesh configuration, you can still use that single port as a bridge into the network. So I actually have a client where we configured a Unify UAP AC Pro first wirelessly. And then what we did was we actually plugged his Unify switch into it, powered the AP from the switch, and then it reconnected back to the other access point. Now he had a switch hanging off of um, his AP until he could get wires run, and it worked beautifully. I doubted it at first, and this has been like a year, year and a half ago now, but it worked beautifully. So don't be afraid of the pass-through ports, and don't be afraid of wireless uplink. That being said, wireless uplink is meant to be a temporary solution. The mesh, as long as you don't go past, I think it's three or four hops, it, you know, but you got to remember, anytime you do a wireless uplink or anything like that, basically cut your bandwidth in half um, because normal wireless is a half duplex only solution. But get you some cheap APs and play around with this, and you'll probably be surprised 
that after you, you know, you do a wireless adoption and then you plug something in and that it just, it works. So this is just another tool in your toolkit that you can add to help you in situations that may not be ideal or situations where you need to get something up and going and it's temporary and things like that. So I hope that you will definitely play with um, the wireless uplink and the past reports. If you've got any questions about that, you can always ask them down in the uh, comments or you can hop over to Discord. So if you liked this uh, Unify Pro Tip, give me a thumbs up, let me know if this is worth uh, going through, talking about these things, let me know if you want to see more Unify Pro Tips. Put that down in the comments and let me know. And give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form and someone will contact you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. If you'd like to talk to us on Discord, that link is down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks, that link is down below. And as always, our Amazon affiliate link is down below. It doesn't change your price, but it does kick a couple bucks to the channel. And as always, I want to thank you for being here, and I'll see you in the next video.